Story one. Kendricks, are you here? Here I am. Let's play something. Not now. Maybe some other time. Are you busy? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Perhaps I'll have to wait for you. Not today. See ya, Julian. Okay. See you later, Kendricks. Bye. Bye. Well, perhaps I have to play alone. Julian joined Abby. Enough playing today. I'm logging out. Huh? Isn't that Kendricks? Kendricks, is that you? Yeah, it's me. You changed your avatar. How? I got some Robux. That's awesome. And I love your avatar. It suits you, Kendricks. Thanks. Let's play some tower games. No, my new friends are waiting for me. Play it yourself, Julian. Yeah, perhaps. I don't have any other choices. She left again. Whatever. I'll find new friends. Let's join Fruits Tower. In Fruits Tower. Hey. You are such a good player. Thank you, buddy. Even when I don't know your name. Me? I'm Victor. And you can call me just Vic. Okay. You seem like a good person. Yeah. Maybe I am. Lol. Do you want to be my friend? Of course, Vic. Cool. I'm adding you to my group chat. Please do it. All right. And by the way, I'm Julian. Ha ha! All right. In Victor's group chat. Hey, friends! Let's welcome our new member. Hi, my name is Julian. Nice to see you all. Jesus, he's just a bacon. Why did you bring him here? And you, Julian. Get out of here! Go on! Get the hell out of here! Javi. Why would you say that? Don't be rude to him. Whatever. Who cares? Hey, I know you. You're Leo, right? I am. Julian, what are you doing here? Kendricks. It seems like you all know each other. Are you guys friends? Not really. There is no way I could be friends with a guy like him, lol. Okay, I get it. Correct, ha ha ha. Levi, I'm kicking you out. Shut up, Izzy. Hey, stop fighting right now. Fine, fine. By the way, I'm 18. How about you guys? I'm 19. I'm 17. So am I. Me too. Yeah, great. And I hope none of us lie about our age. I hope the same thing, lol. Let's do an age reveal too. I agree. I'll join too. No problem. HMM, I don't think I'll join. Why? I feel insecure about people on the internet. Don't worry about that. We are all good people. There is no abductor in this group, lol. That's not what I mean. What if you leak my photos? No one will do that, lol. Fine. Whatever. You'll see how handsome I am. Great. And now he is bragging. Hey. Don't mock me. Calm down, JV. That was just a tiny problem. Stop defending that bacon. Well, who wants to go first? Let me go first. Here I am. You look like a toad, lol. Okay. If you can say something easy to hear, then keep your mouth shut, JV. How dare you? Nice picture. Cool photo, Victor. Thank you. Who's next? Me. You are so pretty. Haha, -ha, cute. Beautiful. I want to marry you, Izzy. Never. That was just a joke, Izzy. I hope so. JV, do you want to go next? Nope. 
I'll go last. I know you would say so, JV. Yeah, yeah. Just shut up, Vic. My turn. Kendricks is stunning. Izzy is even prettier than her. Boys, stop it. Okay, this is my picture. Wow, you look great, Julian. Impressive. Yeah, cool. I've seen that on Facebook before. What do you mean, JV? That's not possible. Julian lied to us. Do you have any evidence? Forget it, everyone. Perhaps JV is only kidding. I'm not kidding. What do you say about this, huh? Oh my God. Julian, why did you lie to us? I didn't. That photo was me. You can trust me. But why is it on Pinterest? I ah,、uh, it's hard to say. But trust me, guys. That photo is mine. I just don't know why it's on Pinterest. Shut up, you liar. Javi, leave him alone. What if someone stole his picture and posted it on Pinterest? Victor, why are you protecting him? Yeah, I can't understand. If you guys trust him, then that's the truth. Of course, we trust Javi. He has the evidence. What if the photo was edited? You mean the photo was edited within seconds, huh? How could that be possible? Correct. I trust you, JV. Show yourself if you don't want us to kick you out of this group. Is that so? Then let me tell you something. You don't have to do that. I'll get myself out of here. You all know that JV has already had something against me since I appeared. Yet you still trust him. Perhaps it's because I have no robux. Stop talking and get out of here. Fine. Dr. Dumo O Seven left the conversation. He left. Yet,、yeah, and I like that. Me too, JV. Hey, you two are being very mean. That was pretty harsh on him. Not at all. He showed someone else's photo and lied to us. And I think he's a 90 years old man. Lol. That makes sense. Ha ha ha. But he already left. So can you guys please stop talking about him? For God's sake, give us some peace. Okay, Vic. Yeah. Very well. I'm going to play some obby games. Do any of you want to join? Me. Me too. But not now. All right. I'll join you guys. Yeah. Let's go. All of them joined except for Izzy. I know Javi is scheming on something. I need to find Julian. Where are you? We're still friends in Roblox. Izzy tried so hard to find Julian. Huh? Who is that? Hello, Izzy. What? You know me? Yeah. But I don't know who you are. So sorry. It doesn't matter. I'm the one who left the group chat, and I don't think you can still remember me. What? Are you Julian? Yeah. Thank you for remembering me. How can I forget you? Did you get Robux? Yeah, my parents gave me one hundred dollars as my birthday gift, so I used the money to buy Robux. Oh, I see. Happy birthday, Julian. Thank you so much, Izzy. But why are you here? I came to see you because I know that you didn't lie. Don't bother. I forgot that. Yeah. But you know what? Javi hates bacon's. I know. But now perhaps he will stop hating you. I don't care if he hates me or not, and I don't even care about those friends who left me because of his words. I can understand your anger, but will you still return to the group? Thank you for your kindness. 
but I will deny. Besides, I am so sure Kendricks left me before I met you guys. I don't really understand. Hasn't she told you? We were good friends until she had Robux and left me. She didn't want to play with me and said she got new friends. She's no longer important to me. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. It's okay, it doesn't matter anymore. But at least they need to know that you didn't lie. How can I do that? You just need to send another picture of you. Okay, I understand. I'm adding you back. Who is this dude? That's Julian. Are you kidding me? It can't be him. Well, he got Robux and got a new avatar. And what about his picture? That was his photo, and Javi edited it to slander him. No way. Don't try to lie. Give me one second. You are the only one who hasn't shown a face photo yet. What? What are you saying? Shut up, Victor. Hold on a sec. You wanted to kick me out of this group because of, because of a fake proof. But you still let JV stay, even when he hasn't shown his picture yet? That doesn't seem fair. Shut up, your picture was fake. Julian, I trust you. Send them something of yours. Okay, look at this. So Julian was right. JV, why did you slander him? Because I hate him, that's all. Yeah, that's not a surprise to me. That's not a big problem anymore. Show your picture, Javi. Fine. Look at me. Oh. I'm impressed. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know, I know. Keep giving me compliments, guys. Okay, JV. You're the best. Cringe and creepy, lol. Look who's jealous. Absolutely not. Me for sure. Just admit that I'm more handsome than you. And I'm sure you look like a clownfish. Lol. Look around, Julian. Everyone supports me, not you. Does anyone care about JV? It seems like no one cares, lol. Hey, say something. Erg. How angry. How ridiculous. Bye, friends. I'll have a hot dog soon. See ya. Wait. What? Can I tell you something before you leave? Can't you say it here? Not really, but please, Julian. I won't take you much time. Hmm, all right. Thank you. In private chat. Well, everyone. Please let me say something. I want to say sorry. Will you guys forgive me? I will. And it's good if you notice your mistakes. Sorry for not trusting you, Julian. You treated me well, but I didn't help you even when I could. Yeah, okay. I was mad at you then, but not any longer. So don't worry anymore, okay? Thank you, Julian. Yes, my bro Victor. The end. Story 2. Son, let me tell you something. I have. Oh, Dad, please no. Don't say it. I already know what you're about to say. Well, what do you know? You have another girlfriend, right, Papa? Yeah. Please give me a break, Papa. I had enough of that. All those women I met were all rude and toxic. Please stop changing girlfriends, Dad. Hey, are you lecturing me? I am your dad, Rory. Don't be insolent. You will meet my girlfriend soon. Oh, God, no. You just broke up with your latest girlfriend last week. So what? She wasn't my true love. That's why we broke up. Are you sure this one is your real love? Of course. Last time, asked you the same question. And you answered me, just like what you just said. I almost had enough of you. 
Now what? Yeah, that's right. Shut up. Dad. What? Can I say one more thing? You just said it? Dad, you should stop. No. Fine, then I'll move to mommy's house. Yeah, go. The door is open. And I'm not going to to hold you. But I'm warning you. Your mother doesn't have as much money as I do. She can't raise you. Yeah, but at least she earns her own money. And you still take my grandparents' money. Hey, don't mock me, you little kid. I didn't. And you know what? I always wanted her to take custody of me, you dad. Whatever. You can go wherever you want now. Okay. I'll help her find a better job. She'll be richer than you, dad. Okay, I don't care. One last thing. I'm not going to marry. You'll neither have a niece nor a nephew. What? No, no, son. Please don't leave me yet. You have to marry a girl and give birth to my nephew. Otherwise, you are not going anywhere. And now, I won't let you go. You'll stay here and meet my girlfriend. Hayes, whatever. I hope your new girlfriend is a good woman. And she better treats me nicely. Otherwise, I'll run away from this house and never come back. Fine. She'll be here within an hour. One hour later. I guess she's here. I'll open the door. Thank you for having us. Good morning, Mr. Tony. Yeah, welcome to my house. Oh, good morning. What? Who is this kid? Great. Here we go again. I can tell what's coming up next. Hey, what are you babbling? Don't mind that. Hey, that was rude, Rory. Say sorry to her, now. I'm sorry. Even when I don't know what I did wrong. I hope this boy isn't your child. What an insolent kid. Don't mind him. He's just my nephew. I'll teach him a lesson later. All right, thank God. He isn't your son. You and Rocky can go upstairs and relax in your rooms. Yeah, that's what I want to do right now. Thank you. Rory, take them to their rooms. After that, I want you to get familiar with Rocky. Okay, Uncle Tony. Follow me. In Rocky's room. Okay, here is your room. Take some rest, Rocky. Wait. Huh, what? Stay here for a while, bro. I haven't even known your name yet. I'm Rory. Yeah, cool. And you aren't Mr. Tony's nephew. You're his son, right? Yeah. But why did he say you were his nephew? Who knows? Okay. I'll stop asking. But uh, so sorry about my mom. She was quite rude to you. It's okay, Rocky. That wasn't even a problem to me. By the way, can I ask you something? Go ahead. Your dad had a lot of girlfriends before loving my mom, right? That's right. He just broke up with another woman last week. What? No way! Aren't you joking? No, why must I? And I don't know why he likes toxic girlfriends. They only loved his money. And they all were so rude to me. I'm so sorry about that. Why didn't you run away? I wanted to. But I couldn't. Because he always found and brought me back to this house. Oh, that sounds a little crazy. Yeah, I know. They talked about something else, but Anita came in and interrupted them. Can I come in? Did you always enter someone's room first? and then ask if you could come in? Hey, I'll be your stepmother. Don't be rude to me. Whatever. Please, stop it. That wasn't even a problem. Mom, why are you here? What do you want to have for dinner? I want a seafood pizza. 
Okay, you'll have it. I'm going out. Mom, wait. What's wrong, Rocky? You need something else? No, but what about Rory? Why didn't you ask for his opinion too? That wasn't necessary. He'll eat whatever I give him. Even cat foods. No, Mom, please don't treat her like that. Please let him choose something for dinner. Okay, I'll listen to you. But just this time. Thank you. Hey, Rory, what do you want for dinner? Can I have seafoods, pasta? Fine. Dinner time. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you, Mommy. Rory, what do you think about the food? What's wrong, son? Why aren't you eating? Are you sick? Not really. Perhaps I'm not hungry yet. But you're here anyway. Eat with us. Foods from this restaurant are all great. Okay, I'll try some. Good, here you go. Thanks. How does it taste? Wow, great. I told you. But hey, you better eat the whole plate of pasta that you ordered. Don't waste the food. I won't. Yeah, eat up. In mind, hum, it seems like Rocky is a good brother. In mind, and even Anita doesn't seem like a toxic woman at all. In mind, I think Dad has found the right woman. But Rory still missed his mother. After the meal. I miss you, Mom. Should I call her? Yeah, of course, I should call her. I have no reason to not do that. Pick up the phone, Mommy. Hello. Is that you, Rory? Yeah, it's me, Mom. Oh, hi, how are you? And how is everything? It's not really okay, Mom. Huh, what do you mean? Your voice sounds sad. Nothing. I just miss you so much, Mom. Yeah, I miss you too. And I have some free time now. Do you want to tell me something? I do. It's been a while. Okay. Mom, have you ever thought about finding a new job? HMMM, not really. But why are you asking that? Because your current job doesn't bring you much money. Besides, you are a talented woman. You shouldn't waste your effort on that company. Thank you for praising me, son. But things will never be that simple. It's hard to find a job that we love to do. Even if I find one, I'm sure that job will take me a lot of time. I can't spend much time with you, son. That's not what I meant to say. Then what is that? Give me one minute, Mom. I'm trying to figure out how to start. He's not a good dad. I can't feel his love. And he likes to change girlfriends. Almost every month. Oh God. He's still the same. But you shouldn't speak about him like that. You know what? He's in love with another woman. And I don't really like her. She was rude to me. Really? I'm not lying. But the biggest reason that makes me want to leave dad is. Is what? He said I was his nephew. I can never accept that. How could he? Oh, that's bad. Mom, can I come and live with you? Okay, it doesn't matter to me. But you should know that I can't spend much time with you, son. It's hard for me to take good care of you. We can have a solution for that. Okay. Come here with me, son. Thank you, mommy. I'm coming for you. After that. Dad. What? I'm leaving the house. What? Why? Did you talk with Pepper? I did. Why do you want to leave? Well, it seems like you've found a good woman. She can take good care of you. Even so, you still cannot go. Dad, you have to let me go. There is one reason. What? I don't like girls. 
What? Aren't you joking? It isn't a joke. Okay, then I don't need you anymore. Anita and I will give birth to another baby boy. Pack your things and leave my house, now. Thank you. But the truth was. Thank God he trusted that lie. I'll move to mommy's house. That place is so near my girl's home. We'll have a lot of time together. Hello, babe. Rory, why are you here? I just moved here to live with my mother. What's wrong? Aren't you happy to see me? What are you saying? Come closer. The end.